All right, I think that's plenty. Okay. <laughs> now what do we do? Ah, uh, that's a good question. We feel like we're stuck. All right, we are stuck. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Welcome to our kitchen. Hope you are well. I did that the other way around. I want to go that, that and that. It's cool. We, we mix it up here. That's what we do. Uh, welcome. Today we are doing a giant Haribo cola bottle and hopefully not just any cola bottle, we're gonna do a fizzy one as well, okay? Uh, so you might remember, I think maybe a month ago, might be a little bit longer than that, I did uh, a giant Haribo fried egg. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, which does not coincide at all with the random cat tweet thing that is still going viral on my feed that I retweeted of a cat with a tangerine. No, I don't have a cat, okay? We're gonna do the cola bottle. I sort of mentioned I wouldn't mind doing that, but I've already made a darn good start. Let me show you how. Well, here we are, there's a lot of Haribo here. I think I learned from my last time that this will take a while, but if we look at it, it's, there is a clear divide where I can cut it right down there, put the cola filling in one bowl, and the lid, or the bottle, is the bottle half full or half empty? That uh, well-known life conundrum. I am gonna cut the very first one here on camera just so we get this monumental moment. And there we go. Bottle, cola. Well, for reference, that's how full the bowls are. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay folks, I have just finished doing the cola bottles. It took about two and a half hours. The kids have gone out with Mrs. B and I'm just like here on my own going, right, this is way better, way easier, way quicker than the fried eggs were. There was none of that ripping the yolk apart, trimming it all around a circle. It was literally snip, boom, done. So good. A lot like her operation, that, no, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, anyhow, I just wanna show you guys this. I thought this would be pretty cool. Look, this is some driftwood. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this on my story. Um, we found it, Mrs. B and I, on the beach walking along. And I think it, when it stood up, it would look like quite a cool little feature. Uh, you pay like hundreds of pounds for. Um, but I dumped it in uh, one of our uh, bins, huge bin, full of bleach, no, chlorine, swim and pool chlorine, because it's much stronger than standard bleach. And it just kills off all the nasty bits inside. And we've left it in here for about 10 days now. And as you can see, it's really dried out. So uh, we're gonna oil that up and it'll be a, a feature somewhere. People will be like, what have you got that in your house? That looks disgusting. Anyhow. Uh, so, I've got the uh, jellies all sort of separated. This thing, I always, always, always wanted these as a kid. Uh, this is a money box, and if you've ever seen these, a Coca-Cola money box, and I've got to cut it in half to do what I'm thinking with it. I was also thinking about, oh no, I could just do it like myself freehand and make a little border, but this is manufactured and made and sold as a cola bottle. This lid, <laughs> I've been trying to pull it for ages, does not seem to want to be coming off. So is it like the money box that you put in and it will never come off? Don't know. Doesn't smell too gluey, but there is a seam running all the way down there. I'm gonna get a hacksaw and try and saw it right down the middle there to give me a flat base to put down on the ground and then we can pour the jelly into. <sighs> So last night I sanded it down, took away any sharp edges, gave it a wash, got rid of all the plastic stuff, and we now have <laughs> half cola bottle things, right? Which is gonna be, hopefully, the perfect mold. These are the bowls, and I love, I started to get a bit cheeky towards the end because I was thinking, well, I've cut them so well, first of all. Um, but what I started to find was that like, it didn't really matter because they're gonna get diluted down together so much that even if there was a speck of cola on there, the mass of it, it's not really gonna matter. But I have learned one thing from the egg. I'm probably gonna try and steam it today. Mm -hmm. But I thought I could put this monumental occasion uh, on the camera. Look, this is the very last one. And in fact, that's not the most perfect one. There's a little bit blended in there. So whenever I wasn't sure, I took as much of the empty cola bottle part of it, if it was a bit sort of mixed together, I kind of put it in the Coke. Boom, bottle there. We are now ready to steam our snipped Haribo. Yeah. All right, so my thinking is, um, rather than putting it in a pan, which we did before, that can change the color of it. And I wanna keep this um, as clear as possible. We don't wanna sort of burn it in any way. And I just feel that by steaming it, I'm just doing a little bit with a spoon. I am gonna dump it in in a minute. Um, it just gives it that flexibility where, I mean, effectively, it's jelly, isn't it? It's gonna hopefully solidify, no, it's gonna liquefy and then solidify again once it's cooled again. 
It worked last time, so it should, right? To be fair, I'm quite happy that my other mixing bowl shattered because if I was doing both at the same time, I'll, it would actually just gonna make this step when we set it, which I'll come on to in a moment, a little bit trickier. All right, <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep my eye on it and then uh, hopefully it will melt down. So I'm gonna have a spatula and stir it around as the heat gets around it, keep it nice and even. Once I know it's starting to do that, we can work on our mold because I said I might need to do one little extra cut on it. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. The water's starting to get nice and hot now, and I am starting to see a sort of gooiness uh, like that. Okay, <laughs> like a Haribo cheese pool. Uh, we want it to kind of liquidize down a little bit, so I might add a little bit of water in a minute. I'm just gonna see how it goes, but for now, we'll move on to the mold. All right, so for the mold, did you see that logo? That is the Barry Lewis one. Uh, a piece of cardboard wrapped in baking parchment. So the plan is, all right, we only need one half, and I'll show you, I've done a little bit of extra. I've got a little hole in there, and now I burnt that in with a heated spoon, and I'll show you the other version once we can do the other end. But what I realized is, I'm gonna take this down to hold it in place, but there needs to be a, like a, a stop gap, okay? So I'm gonna actually cut it down the middle and put a little baking parchment wrap stopper on it so I can pour the Coke in one end and the white empty bottle filling top thing, what are we calling that? Air. <laughs> in the top half, all right? All right, so what I did, I got a hob here. This is a measuring spoon, and I got it as hot as I could. As hot as the sun. And then, oh, it's smoking a bit. It was a lot easier last night when the camera was watching. Pressed it down on there, and the heat of this does just burn a hole in it if I just give it a little bit of shimmy, a little bit of help. There we go, I think we're through. There we go, we're through. Easy as that. <laughs> uh, the got burnt a bit, so uh, that was burnt plastic. <laughs> Quick sand, little wash, and we're ready to go. Behold, the bodged mold thing, okay? <laughs> this is it, right? I've got a little bit of baking parchment on the lid. That looks like it wants to fall off, brilliant. And I've got another bigger piece here held up by a glass just for moral support, but it is fully taped all the way around. Do you know what? I might put it into a saucepan again, but only for five minutes because we got it to this stage because I really want it to, to loosen up. My aim is to get it from there into a jug so I can pour it through this hole. <coughs> mm. Then pour it in. That is red hot sugar right there. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's actually really gorgeous. I feel like I'm a sweet shop candy making bloke thing. Ugh, that bogey. All right, I think that's plenty. Okay. <laughs> now what do we do? Ah, uh, that's a good question. We feel like we're stuck. All right, we are stuck. I'm going to cut that away and run like the wind, Mrs. B. I know the tea towel's stuck. The tea towel's stuck. I think the steam method did work, but I do want it to be a bit more fluidy so I can get a really good pour on it. All right, I've asked Mrs. B just to hold the pan because I want to stir this to show you. It's much looser now. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it's a big lump. That doesn't matter. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's cooling already, isn't it? <gasps> no. Oh no. That's cool. Look, it's going in. Yeah. Is it just settling there? It's though? just. It's gonna. I think maybe the more we add in, it's probably gonna push it out, isn't it? The suspense is killing me here. Okay, so we've decided to make more holes because that is working. We've got the ramekin and we're gonna like just make like two or three of them on here. Hello people, uh, this is Barry from the future. It's about your kids, Marty. Uh, this is literally me editing the finished part of this video right now. I know some of you are gonna question it and this is the scene we're just about to go into. Why didn't we just pour uh, the mixture into the actual carcass, of the plastic bottle without doing any of the poury stuff? Well, we did actually try a little bit of this off camera and what happens is it's so hot for it to be maneuverable, it bonds to the plastic to the point where it, it probably wouldn't have gone all the way through but what happens is it starts to actually become part with the sugar and we could have ended up having loads of plastic inside the bottle which is why we put it straight onto baking parchment anyhow i'm gonna finish my coffee and finish this edit enjoy and remember to subscribe thanks uh i was gonna give this just to patrons but i think i'll tell everyone um we got a bit excited with the ramekin and it got pretty wild in here not even worth filming that barry went diy mode again i went out to my garage got my angle grinder out and i've literally uh i've <laughs> not got enough battery so it's charging up to do the other half but i've cut a sunroof literally that's the hole we had before 
I'll cut a sunroof out so we can pour in one big motion and let it spread and do its thing and that that will work right we've just warmed it up in the microwave ready for this oh yes much better look at that sunroof and look is that bodged or what <laughs> <laughs> the glass is holding it up we've sellotaped it loads let's pour it in no <laughs> what are you doing don't turn the cap right this is literally the sugar has stuck to the tea towel oh my gosh careful don't fall in right let's go okay Oh my gosh! Oh, no, you, I didn't need to do anything. It's, That's so it's good. Ah, oh, yes. It's worked. It's actually. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, you are. Just. Okay, sorry. We're going to do exactly the same because this does cool quick with the coke uh, probably in the pan rather than steaming it. And by the time that's ready, we should be able to take this barrow off, join them together with the sunroof on, pour it in. And then this might be an overnight set, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. So we're just working on the cola bottles now. This time, going straight into the pan, no steaming, and it is forming that jelly quite quickly already. So we might have to take down our little border to join them together in a minute. That is the difference by not steaming it. Oh my gosh. It. Yeah, look, it's... Um, it looks like tar. It is like tar, but I'm, I keep moving it because there are still some lumps, but it smells good, right? Smell it now? Mm, I smell can. It? I can smell the cola. You did have plans to go out, but the weather is actually horrendous now. So luckily having Mrs. B here, I think has saved the day a little bit. Because while Mrs. B just keeps stirring that for me, I did have a gadget, like an auto pan stirrer. I'm gonna try and take away this barrier because it should have firmed up enough. Oh, it's close. Like glue, it is like glue, oh my gosh. This does not bode well from when we want to get it off the actual backing. <laughs> yeah, but once it's properly set, it might be all right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, there we go. My knife is now stuck in there. Oh, come on, I don't want to muck about with this. Do you want me to cut it? Um, I'm just literally just spinning it right now, yes. Could you, could you cut my sugar? It's like cutting the cord with a baby. It was not like that. Well done, Mrs. B. Yeah, but now, it's, now the scissors are stuck. That's oh, fine, no. it's fine. Right, and I yeah. can... Oh no! Thanks, mate. That was stuck to me. <laughs> I can push this up, and I'm gonna stick our convertible Coke end in here like this. Oh, it's actually sticking for us because of the gumminess. Amazing. How's it going? It's good. I think it's almost done. I think that is done. Yeah, is it smooth? Yeah. Oh wow, that's amazing. All right. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's plenty, isn't it? Here we go. Wow. So I'm just gonna start it slowly, this end, and it is just finding its way. <laughs> it's like two different oceans meeting. Could you do me a favor and just slightly encourage it a little bit mm -hmm. up to, oh, it's going anyway, isn't it's it? It's going. Oh wow. Look, it's just, and it's holding. Yeah. Oh, you can just see a little gap there where it's starting to fill in. It might just settle. I think I'm just gonna add a teeny speck more just to show you how it just, it just pushes it out just a little bit. And there's a little gap there and it's just gonna push it over the edge and bond this all together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I don't care if it's like that. That's literally, that's the video thumbnail. Like if cool. I have to ha stand up with that. Wow. Is it seeping out a little bit? It is a little bit. But right, don't touch that because that's insanely hot sugar. I was worried about the worktop. Oh, I good didn't point. mind burning <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> good point. Well, we did put some paper under it. That ain't going to reach that far. I can't believe how it's just kind of stopped there. That's well, amazing. Yeah, it's kind of like a neat line. And I think we've got the level almost perfect as well. Right, we're just going to leave this to set. It's the early afternoon now. Uh, the light in here isn't great because it's February uh, and it, like history has taught me it's sometimes best to leave things overnight so I think I'm gonna put it in the garage overnight uh, and that we should get it a good set um, and if that has worked we can then turn it into a fizzy cola bottle I have prepared that too what could go wrong good night Good morning folks, it is day three. We left the bottle overnight, but in the afternoon, it was time to remove it from its plastic casing. And there are sometimes things that are not worth showing on camera. Let me tell you, 
That was a very horrible job, but I've avoided showing you on this because I can show you more. You see that? Look, I kept the other piece intact just for reference to show you, uh, and the cap is still surviving, bless it. My money box is completely ruined, but I got it out, and there it is. It's super, super sticky. Uh, this worktop, when we put it in actually, we had some offcuts left. So I went out in the shed last night and measured a length and cut it perfect to size for a, a chopping board ideal for a giant Haribo. Um, the, the icing sugar underneath that I put there, that just makes it so that it won't stick because it will not come off this. So now it's nice and easy. Whereas this bit is sticky, all right? Because we're taking it to another level. We are indeed taking it to another level, but I just want to show you, this is a bunt tin, because I thought people might say, oh, can you do one of them like rings next? So I thought, oh, I'll pour some of the excess uh, into the bunt tin and see if we can get that out. I don't think it's coming out. And because the kids have been watching Star Wars movies, this is a Star Wars mold that I've got, and I legitimately have not seen what this looks like yet. This is me pulling it out for, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we made a Coca-Cola Death Star, look at that. I haven't seen these films yet. I'm holding out for the Dojo crowdfund perk. We're hiring out a cinema to watch all three. It's happening this year. And then Mrs. B's like, oh, why did you pour it in that? I don't know if that was a big iconic thing because it gets blown up. I'm like, why did you tell me that? <laughs> Look, this is literally a... That's, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. There we go. Oh, shall I try and... Oh, it might come actually. Oh, should we try this as well? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! Chloe, come here, she's just seen her face. Look at it. It is like a donut, isn't it? Look at that. Put my face in it. Put your face in it. I look so small like this. You do. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was going to rule out more Haribo, but there is, there is potential further down the line, maybe, but. All right, so this is a pack of uh, Haribo. This is the uh, fizzy ones. I think they're called Fantastics or Tangtastics, something like that. Uh, they've got like a crocodile thing. Uh, they've got this ring thing. And there we go. Look, there is a cola bottle because I prefer the fizzy ones than the standard generic one that we've already made. So this is laced. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer on that. You see how it's laced? Uh, in sugar, but it's fizzy. That is basically something called sour sanding, which is which is quite easy to make, actually, because I've never made it before, but it's just citric acid. Okay, this is food grade citric acid. You can buy it in most supermarkets. I decided to bulk buy it. Uh. Uh. I don't need that much. That's like licking a lemon. Mm. Chloe, yeah. you want to try some of this? What is it? Tasty. I'm going to brush my teeth now. You're going to brush your teeth. But this stuff, I only need a couple of teaspoons of it and you mix it with about 10 times more sugar. And you can either do it with granulated sugar uh, or you can do it with icing sugar, aka powdered sugar. I remember Mrs. B and I did that homemade the other day in a blender, whizzed it up. But I feel personally that it's slightly more granular, okay? So I think classic granulated sugar with the citric acid powder mixed together should give us a lovely sour sanding for our giant cola bottle. I literally just put a drop on my tongue. Oh my gosh. When I was reading up on this actually, apparently it's a true story that this sour sanding stuff um, with the acid, apparently if you have too many sweets, I know it's like that whole classic thing, or it'll rot your teeth. Apparently the acid in this could help rot your teeth like a, a, a greater pace. So uh, yeah, that, that's a thing. Obviously the more that you put in with the sugar ratio, the more sour it's gonna be. I've got quite a big cola bottle there. I'm gonna sprinkle it on the top of it. So we go for four teaspoons and I'm gonna shimmy in one, two, three, four, five tablespoons of sugar. Mix that round. Now it's probably only fair that I try this again now. <laughs> that is it. That is exactly what they have on those bottles and other animals and things. Nice. I know you didn't like this before. That better? Mm. Does that taste like Haribo? The fantastic ones? Yeah. 
Well, I don't like the Harry Potter fantastic ones. <coughs> Whatever they're called. Well, don't do it then, mate. Sorry. It's fine. Oh, well. Okay, let's get this on our big old bottle. Yeah, just a little, there you go. Yeah, just a little sprinkling. We're getting that sour effect on there. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that looks blooming stonking. It does look very, very good. <laughs> I'm just scared to lift it because it's quite flimsy. You can really see all like the crystals of it on there. The, the fizzy sugar, exactly how it would be. <laughs> What are you thinking, Chloe? Get. All right, here we go. Gonna just lift this. Ah, oh, nice. Onto my final display board for it. Ah, yes, 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 yes. That looks amazing. <laughs> I think it's only fair, Miss B. You want to come and try some of this? Here we go. <clears throat> wow. Come on. Really? You kind of put me off. Sorry. Try that. I got a chunk out of it. Yeah, you did. I just want to. You can't just take a little nibble like that. You got to keep, mm. come on. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That tastes just like it. That's because it is it. Very true. It's just it melted down. You like the fizz? Mm. Just really enough? Just the fizz. Well, I think that was a blooming success. Sour sand everywhere. Well done. And thank you for, you saved my day. How? You just, people just know. If you weren't here, things would have got awkward. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. And uh, Mrs. B, yes. we have got this for Sunday roast. It is a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Alright, this is a scene for everybody, this is uh, legitimate, we're about to start cooking our roast dinner for a Sunday and the good thing is, right, I've lost my money bottle, it, or unless I permanently weld it to this, but it comes now with a protective case. <laughs> One more set, I wanted to show you because we didn't really properly like sour sand that as well as like they probably do, like they toss it don't they in the, in the factories. We've got that big bunt tin ring thing, no we've got the Death Star. We'll use one of them now. All right, so just to show you, uh, we'll stick the Death Star in, shook up the bowl again, and they would dump it in the supermarket, in the supermarket? In the factory like that, sticky all over, and there we go, a sour sanded Death Star. Wait, you mean it's Coca-Cola Haribo jelly? Always has been. Seen those memes? See ya. <laughs>